Continuing to cover Colorado First tonight at 10, today is World IBD Day. IBD stands for Irritable Bowel Diseases, which includes Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and there is no cure. Your investigator, Katie Weiss, is uncovering a surge in IBD cases among young children in Colorado. As journalists, it's not often that we're a part of the stories that we tell. But Crohn's is an autoimmune disease that affects me every day and will continue to for the rest of my life. That's why it's important to me to introduce you to a courageous 15-year-old girl from Denver who also has Crohn's. She wants anyone at home who's watching who may be suffering to know that they're not alone and that there is hope on the horizon. Yeah, this was the beginning of the trip. It all began on a vacation six years ago when Pauline Clayman was only nine. In my worst, I was going to the bathroom all the time, throwing up constantly. It was really scary because we were traveling. And when we got back, we just had a bunch of doctors telling us it was something else and poking me with the needles and trying to figure out what was wrong with me when we really couldn't figure it out. The longest IV removal ever. After many tests and an eventual diagnosis of Crohn's disease. That right there is an ulcer, oh. that little yellow spot. Next came finding a treatment. The first one I was on gave me really bad psoriasis, so we had to find a different one to go on. Pauline became close friends with her gastroenterologist, Dr. Edward Hoffenberg, at Children's Hospital in Aurora. Big breaths in and out. He says he's seen a huge increase in IBD cases in children. The severity is greater, and they're presenting younger and sicker. Diarrhea, bleeding, not growing, vomiting. And then others can show up a little later with more of the non-traditional stuff. So they might have skin things and joint things and looks like food allergies. CU Anschutz researchers found environmental factors are becoming more common causes. Why do you think that might be? Things in the diet, in processed foods, or use of antibiotics, and so on, that might be triggering. But it's still unclear what, what the fundamental issues are that are driving this increase. Health reports show the number of people nationwide diagnosed with IBDs has surged by about 800,000 cases since 2019. And current treatments on the market are extremely expensive. Often ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year. Insurance covers a lot of it, but there's an increasing portion that is borne by families. Without insurance, they can be practically inaccessible for an average family. What kind of treatment gaps or issues, you know, currently exist that keep you awake at night? If there were easier ways to provide medications and to have the pharmaceutical industry really focus on kids, which is not a big market, and provide better therapeutic approaches would be a big win. And funding for the programs to provide the care that's not supported by insurance. Until then, Hoffenberg says it's critical to detect these problems early so treatment can be more effective. He says to look out for the signs, rapid weight loss, persistent diarrhea, and blood in the stool. Once I got on medicine, I was able to just return to what I normally like to eat. Symptoms Pauline proudly tells me she hasn't dealt with in a long Long time. What is your hope for the future? I really hope that maybe one day you find a cure, but if not, I really get excited about the pills options that are coming out recently because it's just much easier than having to inject yourself with a needle or go to the hospital. Now she's planning a new vacation of her own. 26 days backpacking in southwestern Colorado's backcountry this summer, and this time, Crohn's won't get in her way. Keep your head up because there's always the light at the end of the tunnel. It does get a lot better. For resources on treatments, diets, and even how to participate in research, just find this story on our website right now, cbscolorado.com. I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.